how to request to remove your personal information on Google. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash support.google.com slash web search slash troubleshooter slash 9685456. Once you're here, you'll be in the help center and on the following page, request to remove your personal information on Google. Use the options below to contact Google about a personal information removal. So as you can see, you're asked a single question, which will lead to a few others, which will give Google the necessary information to remove your personal information off the search engine. So as you can see, the first question here is, what do you want to do? Remove information you see in Google search or prevent information from showing in Google search. So that depends on what you want to do. However, for me, I want to remove information you see in the Google search. So I'm going to left click on the first option here, which will lead me to the next question. Let us know where you saw the information you want to have removed. So the information I want to remove is in Google search results and on our website or only in Google search results. So we're going to be selecting in Google search results and on our website. However, if it's only in Google search results, I have created a video and I'll leave the link to that video in this video description below of how to remove outdated content off Google search results. So I'm going to left click on the first option. Once you've done that, you'll be asked the next question. Have you contacted the site's website owner? No, how do I do that? No, prefer not to, yes. So we're going to be selecting yes. However, if you have not contacted the site's webmaster yet, who is currently displaying your personal information, then I recommend you do so before continuing. I have also made a video on this and I'll link it in the video description below of how to contact a webmaster to request removal of your personal information. Have you contacted the site's webmaster? We're going to be selecting yes for this video. Next, you'll be given four choices. I want to remove personal info like ID numbers and private documents, explicit items, or names on explicit sites, contact about me on sites with exploitative removal practices, content that should be removed for legal reasons. So depending on what your personal information is being displayed on Google and the website, you'll need to select one of these. I'm going to be picking the first option, which is personal information like ID numbers and private documents. So I'm just going to left click on this. Next, you'll need to pick the type of personal information currently being displayed, such as contact information like addresses, phone number, or email addresses that has been shared in a malicious or harassing way, also called doxing, a government issued ID number, a bank account or credit card number, an image of my handwritten signature, a confidential personal medical document. So I'm going to be selecting the first option here for contact information like addresses, phone number, or email address that have been shared in a malicious or harassing way. So let's pretend my home address is currently displayed on a particular website. So I'm just going to scroll down here. All right, next, this form can be used to request removals of URLs with contact information that has been shared in a malicious or harassing way in accordance with our anti-doxing criteria. Any removals require both of these things to appear on the web pages submitted for review. Contact information, number one. Number two, threats, including calls for others to harm or harass. We will review your request and if approved, the URLs will no longer appear for searches relevant to the name of the person being threatened. Please note that we will not take action on ordinary uses of contact information, such as online directories, business and real estate records, government documents, etc. Please note, this form is only for removing content that is still live on the web. If the content is no longer on the website, but is still appearing in Google search results or as a cached page, please use remove outdated content tool, which I've said previously, I've made a video of before and I'll link that in the description below. This is a much faster process to remove content that's no longer live. Required field, Yes, the content is available live. No, the content was removed from the website. Well, we're going to be picking the first option. So I'm just going to left click on this and then Google will give you a bunch of blank white boxes that you need to fill in. I'm not going to be filling in these blank boxes. However, I'm going to be running through it with you. First thing you need to enter is the name being displayed on the website. Your name if you are representing someone else. Next, 
If you are submitting this request on behalf of someone else, please specify your relationship to that person or how you have the authority to act on their behalf. So that's only if you're doing it for somebody else. Next, you need to select your country. That should be auto-filled for you depending on your IP address, a contact email address, and next, removal request. So the query of terms, these should be the names or other identifiers that when used in search return the result you would like to report. If you wish to submit multiple identifiers, e.g. if the maiden name differs from your current last name, enter each on a separate line by clicking add additional. So there's an add additional button here and you just literally type in the search terms that bring up the site containing your personal information. Once you've done that, move on to the next white box here. In order to help us better process your request, please provide URLs of the Google search results pages that contain the links to the web pages you are reporting below. Learn how to get a search results page URL. Note, scroll down to get a search results page URL section of this link. So just paste in the Google search results page link in here and add additional links if there are more links containing your personal information. Next, URL of the web page showing the content. Again, you have the option to add additional. Just paste that in here. Next, for each reported URL, we recommend that you upload one or more representative screenshots of the contact information, address, phone, or email in order to assist processing. So to take a screenshot, I'll put a link in the description of this video of how to take one. I've actually made a video on this. And then all you need to do is left click, choose file and browse your desktop to find the screenshot that you want to upload. Next, you'll have the option to add any additional contents that you would like to provide. Here, you might want to pinpoint the exact location of your personal information on that particular website, how it got on there if you know, maybe you know the site, Webmaster 2, you might want to provide Google with those details. Next, we're on the signature section here where you'll need to tick a box. I'm going to read this box for you. I represent that the information on this request is accurate and that I am the person affected by the web pages identified or I am authorized by the person affected to submit this request. I understand that Google has no legal obligation to act on this request and that Google provides other avenues for submitting requests for removal under applicable law. By typing your name below and clicking submit, you are representing that the above statements are true, that you are requesting the removal of the search results identified by the URL or URLs you have listed above, and that if you are acting on behalf of another person, you have the authority to do so. Google LLC will use the personal information that you supply on this form, including your email address and any identifying information for the purposes of processing your request and meeting our legal obligations. You'll need to type your name into this box, sign the date, and make sure you tick this little box here. Once you've done that, all that's left to do is left click on submit. And now you've completed your request to Google to remove your personal information from their search engine. Once you've done that, Google should then correspond with you further down the line, giving you the result of your removal request, whether it has been successful or whether Google has denied your removal request. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?